let me explain something about the forehand backhand transition. Uh, so for me, I am always trying to find the room to improve. And when I say improve, it just means two things, being more efficient and more consistent. Now, if uh, we're doing the backhand forehand transition, to simplify and make it even better, if the distance between backhand and forehand is smaller, it's easier. Does that make sense? So if I were to play my backhand over here, oh, let me. If I were to play my backhand here, and I play my forehand here, one, when the ball is coming here and here, I don't need to move. Okay, because I'm playing my backhand here, my forehand here. The problem is the ball doesn't land all only here. It's everywhere on the table. So when the ball excuse me, comes in the middle, that becomes the dead spot. I don't know what to do. And in the meantime, I change, it's facing like that. So you cannot play backhand nor forehand. That makes you to move this much or this much. And this wouldn't make sense because you're not gonna play backhand from here. You're gonna probably play forehand here. Now that it, that's moving too far like this way. So the concept is not stay and play backhand forehand like that, but to be able to play backhand here and forehand here. You see how close that is? So it's very, there's very small area where it's a blind spot. So that's why sometimes the middle point is hard to play. But if it's closer, not uh, too difficult. Okay, so if my backhand is forehand here, now my feet do need to move a little bit more to get the backhand right. Yeah, but your feet is just feet are moving according to the ball's position. So when the ball comes here and here, I can play a little bit move, a little bit move. So you can split the movement, but always get it right. And when, the, when you're playing here, when you're playing here, the ball comes middle, that's it. But if I were to play like that, and I was here, and the ball comes here, now I have to move this much. Right, so if I play back in here, forehand here, middle, forehand far, here. Uh -huh. So it helps you to move less in each shot when you actually have smaller distance to cover here. Okay, so a little bit focus on not playing back in too much in the center, a little bit more on the right. And forehand don't need to reach, keep it small. Here, here. Second thing is must keep your hand up. When you're playing topspin, you never drop your arm. You can drop the body if you want to play topspin, but you cannot drop the arm to play topspin. Okay, so if this is one of the most common mistakes that people make. They play one, then they drop. They need to come up again, so they will lose efficiency. And as we lose efficiency, we lose consistency because we are starting from the different position. Down the line, down the line, here, here, make the smallest movement as you change from backhand to forehand. Make the smallest movement. 